or I, what I mean, I just put it in the chat. Right. right. <laughs> well, look who's back. <laughs> I apologize for that, guys. Thank you for hanging out for a few minutes. There's Bill. Uh, welcome to my world, man. This uh, we were having our own meeting. Oh, good, good. Well, I'm glad you continued. Uh, glad you continued. Okay, guys. Um, and of course, I lost my complete train of thought. Oh, so the uh, most people stop with this onboarding part because it just it requires so much information. Uh, so we're going to walk through that um, as I go through it. I'm actually building a website, guys, in Phoenix. Uh, I want to start focusing on general notary work as we move into 2019 and the years beyond uh, because I know that regardless of what happens in the housing market, uh, people are going to need notaries no matter what, even if it's not for mortgages. So I want to balance my business even more. And I'm going to encourage you to do that. I think that we're all on the same page. That's why you're here. Maybe you just don't want to do loan signings at all. That's fine, regardless of the purpose and the reason. Uh, you can uh, enhance your business with this. So I'm actually, the information that you're going to see me put in here, this is because it is actually my business. Feel free to borrow any ideas, the descriptions, anything that you want to do is fair game. Uh, you know, except for my business phone number and my address, you'll probably want to come up with your own. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen uh, with the information about uh, Tyler's uh, website. You may have seen this. I've sent this out a few times in the uh, email chain. So in right here on the website, he'll give a little video about how this whole thing works. And then he gives the three different template designs here for you. Anytime you have a question about what's included in this, uh, Tyler has made him and his, his team totally available to you. Please just send an email to support at greenmonkeymarketing.com. They'll be happy to answer any questions about the, the behind the scenes stuff, like what the uh, SSL is and all the, those types of things on there. Uh, the technical questions he can answer as well. It gives you the lowdown of what the two hosting options are. And he goes over that in detail in this video too. Don't worry, I will send this out. It's also posted in the uh, Facebook event group. So we're trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys to get the information that you need. So once you make your purchase and you've decided which one you're going with, uh, if you're going with Green Monkey, you're gonna get a email that welcomes you and gives you access to an onboarding form. This is the onboarding form. This basically is just a new client onboarding to the Green Monkey Marketing team. Again, like I mentioned earlier, even if you're using a different web builder or if you're doing this yourself, do yourself a favor and gather this information so it's all in one place for you as well. Now, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, guys. This is kind of the tedious, uh, not the exciting part. I am one of those guys that would normally let this sit in my email inbox for years with never going out back to it because it's not the stuff uh, I like to dream about. But we're gonna go ahead and add that all in here. I'm gonna just put my name as I'm known as in my business. Uh, and that might be for you uh, the same name that's on your notary stamp, uh, but this is your, your personal contact information or what you go by. Now this is the email address. This is different than the, um, the general question email that you're gonna make available to clients. So this is just so they can get a hold of me. And I'm gonna use my personal one here, and then we'll confirm it. Now here we're just going to remind the team which template we chose. And if, I'm going to go back here to this screen as well and kind of take a quick poke just to remind myself which one I'm going with. And I'm going to go ahead and select design number one for me. Whoops, I guess I don't have to do that. I can do that over here. There we go. Put the little checkbox next to design one. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about the company information. So this is going to be what you want your customers 
to know you as. So for me, this leg of my business uh, and this website is gonna be Mobile Notary AZ. For my business address, I have opted now to use a, uh, a UPS store PO box. And I'm gonna show you what that address looks like here because it just looks like you have a suite. So it doesn't look like a PO box, which is kind of nice. Now I will tell you, not that I know the specifics, but I know from uh, many conversations with Tyler that there can sometimes be a disadvantage to using one of these uh, UPS stores uh, as your physical location because it might mess up with the Google Maps aspect of it, but it's a risk I have decided to take on anyway. And you can trust that we're gonna be talking about this with Tyler later on as well. There we go. All right, so you can see how that looks like a, a physical location just with a suite as opposed to having a PO box. Now my business phone number, I have also opted to use uh, a different, not a, not a direct cell phone number. For my business on this one, I've decided to sign up with evoice.com. And on eVoice, uh, they give a free 30-day trial, and then it's like $13 a month. After that, I can have up to two phone numbers with 300 minutes. Or, you know, I'm starting out kind of small. I don't know what the volume is going to be on this. But there's a couple of reasons that I've opted to use a paid service like this as opposed to using Google Voice for free uh, is I want the scalability. So I want to be able to grow into this thing uh, with uh, – tracking sales, I want to be able to track where the calls are coming from, I want to be able to record them, I want to be able to um, assign, direct or forward that sales number to any number of cell phones. Because what I plan to do is utilize my team here in Phoenix, so when a customer calls this business phone number, it might call another uh, notary on my team directly so they can get the business that way. I just wanted more flexibility. So that phone number is going to be, and I literally just signed up for it this morning. There we go, 602-239-3405. All right, I'm not providing a toll-free number. I don't think that's necessary in the notary business. And then the general email is still going to be orders at notarycoach.com for right now. I'm highly recommending uh, that you guys use a professional email address in this. We want to avoid using, you know, uh, anything that could be interpreted as uh, non-professional. And really, guys, that's going to be anything with at msn.com, at gmail.com, at definitely aol.com. Those email addresses can be interpreted as uh, like you take the business as a side hustle or a side job and then it's not the, the real deal. If you can invest whatever amount of money, like uh, I use the Google suite, uh, which is their business level professional email. And it's only like $5 a month and it's all done through the Gmail platform. So it's real easy for me because there's no learning curve on how to use it. Cause I use it all the time. If I really wanted to up my game on this, I would do orders at mobilenotaryaz.com and I might switch that down the road. The cool thing about working with Tyler and his team is that they've got a lot of flexibility so they can customize this for you and you don't have to know how to do it yourself. You're gonna have a team doing it for you. Also, another perk of working with Tyler is they will design a just a quick logo for you that looks really crisp and clean and professional. So I'm going to have him do that for me because I don't want, I don't know how, you know, I'm not a graphic designer. I don't know how to do this. I don't want to jump on 99designs or uh, those other sites and go through that. I just want them to do it. So I'm going to let them do it for me. The website colors to match my logo colors, I'm just going to keep that as yes. And then to add a photo or team photos here. So if you have a professional photo that you want 
uh, to add of yourself, of your team, uh, your office, or something that represents your office or your business, this is where you would upload it. So if you're taking notes right now or to do this later, gather as many images as you possibly can. I know a lot of us uh, shy away from having pictures of ourselves on our website, but that is, it's, it's internet gold. It really helps personalize your website and help earn business. So I highly recommend it. If you're going to do it, he's got a real easy system here so you can just upload it direct from your computer. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop sharing right now real quick. And I want to I'm going to download an image from Facebook, just one of my old profile pictures, and upload that. That your social media is a, a great source for finding uh, pictures that might represent you both professionally and on a fun level as well. Let's see here. All right, so I found just an old headshot type picture. I'm gonna upload that so at least his team has that to move forward on. Now on, your pri on their profile description here, this is very important. And even though I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time with you guys on the call drafting this up, I'd really encourage you to spend some time uh, writing a profile about yourself uh, and your team if you have one. So, Bill, while you're writing, yeah, um, it looks like you're writing in the third person. Yep. Um, okay. That's a great question and good point. So, and you can you can do it in first person if you choose. What I found is that doing in third person at least presents you as bigger than one person. So, oh, if, good idea. if you're trying to go with that, if you want to show that you can handle anything and that you've got a team of support behind you, uh, I would definitely go third person. If you, if your intention is to keep this just real one one person show, you know this is what I do. I love what I do. And that's fine, and there's no rule that says you can't write in first person and still have a, a big operation, right? So you can find the balance there. What you wanna do is stay consistent in your messaging though. So if you decide to go first person, do everything in first person, or make it okay, really great. clear that this is, do quotation marks under the bio if it's your personal stuff, and then the rest will be a third person. Thanks. You bet. And also on the pictures, I've uh, uh, heard of other um, mobile notaries actually taking photos during their their signing with their customers. I yes. Suggest that or not? I mean, if it fits your personality, absolutely. Here's what I've, I I have witnessed this not going well is when somebody is uncomfortable taking selfies and they and you know they have a, a, their own judgment about that stuff and then they. They're, somebody told them it was good business to do it, so they tried to do it, and it, it comes off so awkward. Like it just, you know. So just go with your personality. If you if you're hanging, you're just jiving with people, and it just fits. You know, get up there. You mind if I take a snap a picture for my website and my social media? Most people will say yes, and you can pick up on the ones that say yes but don't mean it. You know, the ones that are too, you know, they're shy about their body or they're shy. They just don't like. They don't want their business spread around. Whatever it is, you can pick up on that. 
So just kind of honor that stuff. And I don't always, always, always keep in mind a boundaries. So uh, if you're going through life and people have always told you that you come across as this or, you know, you're, you're pushing your boundaries here, be aware of that. Start to be a, a, well aware of that in your business as well. So you don't want to overdo anything, but if you really connect with people, take a picture with them, or if it's for um, purchasing key, you know, they're purchasing, purchasing a home and they're super excited, just get a picture of them and offer to send it to them as well. That's one way that um, helps bridge that gap for anybody who is uncomfortable in pictures. Do we need to get them to sign a release? or don't even go there you know if you get verbal permission you're probably okay uh, uh, however I'm not a lawyer so I don't know um, exactly what different laws are in states and municipalities um, the general rule of thumb is that if you ever post something and somebody asks you to take it down because they're in it it's best just to do that All right, so I'm just keeping it nice and short and sweet here so you guys can kind of see that. You'll want to spend some time on that, though, just like you do uh, in your other online profiles. You know, if you have a Notary Go or a Notary123 or your signingagent.com profile, you can even just copy and paste that right into this. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick, guys. I'm not so on pictures, one, one thing I've seen a lot of that I really like is um, the hands holding the pen. Um, so there's no other faces, but the face of the people in your business. So, um, you know, when you walk up to a client there, they know that's your face. I, I think I like, I've liked seeing that a lot more than seeing um, like random people. Yep. Um, that's, that's a really good feedback too, because if you're going to do um, stock photography, you can go to, I'll give you a website right now that will give you a lot of those images already that are just um, stock images and you don't have to have a license or pay a fee for them. Go to www.unsplash.com. And then, <laughs> cannot find me. Well, since signingagent.com is not being cooperative, guys, I don't want to waste your time looking for my profile. But that is just a real quick, easy way for you guys to stay consistent in your messaging. Real quick about the pictures, guys. Um, and I'm sorry, I, who was it that was talking just now about those the pictures of the hands? Who was that? That was me. Is that you, Valerie? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, so the stock images are great. If you want to create your own stock images with your own clients and just take pictures of their hands or their pets, people love pictures with their pets, um, you can do that too. Um, that's a good way to just avoid um, too much personal information out there. And then um, whatever you decide to do in taking pictures, just make sure, because you'll actually get people who want you to want to pose like they're signing while you're taking a picture of them. Just make sure that the document that they are signing is maybe a fake one or turned upside down or something. It definitely doesn't have any personal secure information on it. All right. But I will also tell you guys, as much as there's sometimes resistance for those uh, personalized pictures, there's a lot of power in them too. When uh, other people see those pictures on your website or your social media, uh, it really does enhance your business and showing your personality in there. Now, testimonials, I know we've talked a lot about. Um, some, of, some are much better than others in gathering them. If you're not good at it and you don't have testimonials or um, reviews just yet, don't stress too much about it and don't make them up yet. But start building them a strategy for gathering those reviews. And the cool thing is that part of this training, we're actually gonna be working with Tyler on developing a very specific and uh, technology-based way to increase the amount of reviews that you get and get posted to Google, Yelp, and all that good stuff. So that's gonna be coming with us too. If you already have a resource 
for those testimonials or reviews, uh, if they're based on the website, please give a link to that. If you already have it on your page, put them in here. Or if you have them on your uh, Facebook reviews, put a link to your Facebook review page so his team can gather those and add this to the customized template for you. The social media profiles. He's given space for as many as you want. There's no pressure to do all of them. Only go with what you know you're going to use. Uh, because a social media profile that just sits there and you never use it because you don't know how to use it, uh, like I am with uh, Snapchat, I have no idea even why people are on that or how it works. So I, I just said, you know what, I'm not going to Snapchat until I understand it. I did do an Instagram, I'm learning LinkedIn a lot more, so I'd include that. Google Plus is one of those things I have that just sits there, so I probably will not include it. Uh, but what you'll want to do is make sure these are professional social media profiles in most cases. You're not going to want to put your uh, personal Facebook profile, uh, personal Twitters for sure. Those are, those are not what we're talking about here. Only do your professional ones. If you've got a profile that kind of walks that line between business and professional, uh, like I do on my Instagram, that could be that could still work as long as you're conscious all the time of what you're posting uh, and why you're posting it. We're going to move now into the more technical stuff. This is your domains. Um, in a few of the emails that I had sent out leading up to this, we talked about kind of some of the prerequisites that you're going to need. Uh, business phone number being one of them, the business address or knowing what you wanted to use for your address, and the domain uh, address is of critical importance at this point because now you've got a team of people uh, that are putting together, they're building your house, now we need to tell them where, the, where to put it. So for me, the domain name is I'm going to put in the www just so it's clear. MobileNotaryAZ.com. The registrar name, that is where, that's the company that you purchased your domain from. So in my case, I use GoDaddy pretty much all the time for those. We're going to give them the username. Of course, this isn't real. I'm just making this up right now. In your Google Analytics ID, you may or may not have a Google Analytics ID, but that's how uh, the Google marketing platform can monitor like how many people visit your website, uh, your images, all that good stuff. It's, it's going to be critical that you have one of these. It's free to set up. You just go, just Google, Google Analytics, and walk through the steps on how to do that. And then, I'm just going to write this in here so he has that. I'm going to double check, make sure that everything that I want on here is on here. You know what, let's go ahead and... Just add that in there. Then go ahead and do this. Now this is probably not what will actually stay there, but I want to put some things in there so he knows I didn't just skip over it. The when you're branding. You, if you have a couple of different brands out there or if you're going to specialize in one thing and it has kind of a different name, don't blend the two, like for me in particular. My notary coach is my loan signings and the training program. So I'm not going to necessarily mix that in with Mobile Notary AZ. I'm going to brand that separately as just general notary work. So these wouldn't necessarily work. So that's why you don't want to do that with your personal stuff. And you don't want to do it with other businesses that you might have. Is it a pain in the rear end to manage multiple pages when you have multiple businesses? Yes, it is. But it is also critical that what you're offering and what you're doing is crystal clear to your customers. Because if it's convoluted, 
and there's mixed, you know, they see notary coach and they see mobile notary, they're not going to know what's going on. Nobody understands your business like you do. So we just want to keep it nice and crystal clear. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit submit here. And it should tell me there was a problem with your submission. Errors have been highlighted below. Let's see what he's highlighted here. Oh, the email address. I forgot to put the .com on that. All right, so it's cool that he's got a system that helps with that. I don't see any more red, so I'm just gonna hit submit again. And there we go. Onboarding form has been complete. So now the Green Monkey Marketing Team uh, in usually less than seven days are going to get back to me with the final creative product. So I'm gonna be able to look at it, review it, um, and edit it out. Now, what you might have noticed is that on some of those templates, there are some there's some verbiage about like legal document preparation or preparation uh, immigration paperwork all of that stuff is just shown there as an example of what can be done this is customizable to you and your services so once they deliver the template for you uh, and finalize with your personal information you'll be able to tell the team okay look this all right, so those things need to be removed because I don't offer those but I do offer these in fact I also offer these so if you're doing the live scan fingerprinting or uh, you're doing or you're a wedding officiant as well all of that stuff every extra service that you do can be added to your website they can add an extra page even for you with the customized information for that uh, it's really is semi customizable uh, so we just don't say all customizable because it's not, oh, tweak this, I don't want this color here, and I want this thing to explode over here. It's not quite that, it's a template, it's laid out. But he's got a great team that will customize this to your business and your offerings. All right, what questions do you have? Peter, I know you're just getting started with the Green Monkey template, is there anything that's um, and you've been so patient <laughs> waiting for this this training. Is there any question that pops into your head right now? You're on mute, by the way. Want me to unmute you? Gotcha. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I can't. <laughs> Bill, I have a question. I already have an established site. Um, so they will be able to transfer the hosting or is that something I'll have to figure out how to do? That's a good question. So you, you already have a site that's built and hosted somewhere else. Yes. And you, are you happy with that site and then just want to add whatever search engine optimization training to that site? Um, no, not, I'm not really that happy with it. I did it myself and um, it, it's okay, but it, I don't think it's... I think it can be improved. Um, I'm happy to transfer. It's just um, transferring your, that kind of thing just throws me, uh, that's the thing that sits for a year in my email box. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that, that's the tech stuff. So uh, if, if you just want to stop using that website and then start fresh with Green Monkey Marketing where they transfer uh, your, uh, the data, so your, uh, yeah. your domain address would then be pointed to a Green Monkey Marketing. Okay. Yes, yeah, they they do they do that. Do. Yep, that's a, oh, that's yay. exactly what they do. Yeah, it's it's actually it's it's super easy to point these things anywhere you want. And on that note, guys, if you ever decide that you don't want to work with Green Monkey anymore, like you want to <laughs> elevate to a new level and have a fully customized, it's really easy to stop and point your domain to. In, you know a different server or a different website uh, a new web host whatever you want to do real easy to, to do that part. good question well I have I have mine's a, a very beginners uh, question but I do have a website that is being hosted um, but it's like um, 
if I went with Green uh, Monkey, would I have to send them the information and let them put it in, or am, do I have control over what goes on my website? Good question. So it's uh, the template from Green Monkey Marketing is structured, right? They give you the framework. They put a lot of the data in. You could literally click OK, and it would be operational. Uh, you don't have to do any of the design part of it. Uh, but they, there's a whole... Uh, what they call the uh, dashboard where you can log into the back and you can move things around anywhere you want. You, want. you, can, you can add information, take information away. Uh, it's, it's WordPress based. So WordPress is in, uh, it's, it's called open something or other. So there's training all over the place and there's experts. A lot of uh, web designers actually build on WordPress so you can, uh, Oh, it's called open source. So open source. So you can find training on how to customize it all over the place. And Tyler, again, uh, very transparent. He's here to teach you how to do all this on your own. So this is that in between phase. So you'll be able to get in there and do anything you want with it on your own as well. Plus you have the team of support. Plus you have the team of support. What other questions? What other questions? Peter, did you come up with any? No, I don't. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to follow instructions. <laughs> okay, good. And this will be this recorded will be and I'll post it uh, probably privately, but so anybody who's on this call will be able to watch it with the link. So you can go through each of those steps again if you want to. Bill, this is Guy. Hey, Guy. I currently have a website with email hosting included. Does Green Monkey have email with their website? A great question. I don't know that for sure, but I believe they do because uh, if memory serves me correctly, when I first did this a few years ago on this site, uh, they had me set up that way. Um, um, I think I still ended up opting for the Google, the G, the G Suite email so it still had uh, encryption and security and all that good stuff as well. Uh, the best resource guy uh, is to email support at greenmonkeymarketing.com so you can hear it straight from the horse's mouth. One thing I like about their team guys is they're, they're not only there to sell their stuff, you know, they're, they're there to help you be better in your, better in your business. So if they, if they don't like the email server that they have access to, they're going to tell you where to go. And that may have been why I went to G Suite. So, but things may have changed. So check in with them. What else you got? All right, that looks like it might be done for the first session. And like I said, guys, now this was probably one of the slower speed, more boring phone calls. Uh, but the rest of these from here is going to move at a pretty fast pace, and I'm this is the stuff I'm more excited about because now next week we're going to be talking about the overview of what search engine optimization is and how it impacts your business, and that's going to lay the foundation for the very specific actions that we're going to be able to take uh, from now on. So the rest of the calls are going to be less specific about Green Monkey Marketing. They're going to be more about SEO, so how you can apply that to this template or any other website template you have. And I really want to reiterate that, guys. You know, Google has their free pages where you have a one-page uh, website through Google. This will work for that, too. There's The goal here is to make sure that you get a digital presence that's going to start getting your phone ringing and dinging. Because you want – there's plenty of business out there. We just have to make sure that you are the one that customers are finding by getting you on page one of the – Google and Bing searches or any search engine. Uh, Bill. Yes. Hi, it's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Did you did you say way early on that you had somehow emailed us or somehow let us know the syllabus for the remaining calls? Because I don't think I have that. I have. So um, I've been emailing them out. If you've ever ordered the free report and if you get my regular emails if you're on that list I have been sending them out and also there is a um, Facebook event on the public page so if you go to sign in thrive notary course by notary coach on Facebook 
of all the events every single week mapped out the top half is real general description that's the same and in the bottom half is week one week two specifics so you can see all that I'll, I'll look again but I just I just looked earlier and thought that when I click on the free website building I get that splash page uh, each each event so you're gonna go to the event in Facebook not the uh, not the splash page and then I'm, wor I'm working on getting a website that's just customized to this guy, so it'll be a lot more clear. Everything will be in one place for you. Um, okay, so there's a couple of questions in chat that I may have missed. I just want to take a look at this and make sure I get everybody's question. How would I get a professional picture of myself? Great question. There's um, lots of photographers, hungry photographers, that will take uh, custom headshots for you. And some of them are really good and very inexpensive. Um, this is a great opportunity to connect to small business and artists in your area as well. So I recommend posting to a social media platform and get a referral and be willing to pay them. Uh, the fees can range anywhere from $100 to $600 for a head start shoot. I found some though that would work for 20 to or free if I just shared on social media that they did my headshots. So, and I'm probably gonna work with a few different ones because I love that stuff. That's a good resource, is your personal, is that establishes relationships and referrals and all that down the road. Oh, there you go, Valerie even says, uh, check with a local high school, that is a great idea, or even a community college. They all have these types of projects where you might be able to help them as well. Yes, this will be posted. Yes, yes, thank you, Clay. If you have meetups or group gatherings, you might get a discount. By oh, that's a great idea, Adam. Work with your fellow notaries in your area and schedule a group photo shoot. I love it. That's a great idea. And you can get a discount that way and get networking out of the way. All right, guys, that brings us right up to 45 past the hour. I am in Fort Myers right now. We're doing a local notary meetup. If you're in the area and you want to swing by, please check out the Facebook event page again for details. Otherwise, I'll be up in Tampa, Orlando, St. Augustine, and Jacksonville over the next three or four days. Thank you guys for taking the time on a Wednesday to work on yourself and your business. I look forward to seeing you next week where we're going to talk about the uh, SEO overview. Thanks, Bill. Have a great time in Florida. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. See you guys later.